Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Bass Pro Shops Fishing Sim World. I believe that's the name of the game. And today we are going to continue on with our career mode. Uh, before that, let's go into customization and show you my equipment. Uh, so now I have this new reel that I bought uh, during the last video. And I ended up going ahead and buying a 17 pound line. We had a 10 pound and now we have... 17 uh, this is a fluorocarbon line it's clear in color so i think this should be better as opposed to this one uh, which is green colored uh, so let's go ahead and see how this new setup works out uh the bait i mean i don't have any money i only have 200 silver or tp for that matter so we're not going to bother with these guys for now uh, rods are extremely expensive. I don't think I'm going to have to upgrade for a very long time. Uh, so we will leave that alone for now as well. So we have the selected in our first uh, choice. So let's go ahead and start uh, continue career. So far we are in first place. Uh, wow, Gary is just one point behind us. How the heck are these guys just one point underneath me? Uh, so let's go ahead and go to Spring Creek is the next event. 20 minutes. Uh, event rules total a score. So no one cares. Oh, these are the qualifying species. Once again, I don't know what these fish are. So let's go ahead and just start the event. I have no idea where to fish or what to do here. Because I've never been to this lake. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. At the bottom right of your screen is the subscribe button. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's entertaining. Uh, you know, uh, Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour yep. with prize money and tour points up for grabs. There's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition, which means pressing the space bar, <clears throat> uh, best five weight bass. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Man, look at all these guys. Wow, 100 people. Round one. Hey. Uh, we've been here before. This is actually the starting place. Let's try out our new reel and our new line. Uh, this is pretty good spot, honestly. Okay. 95%. Let's see how far we throw now. Oh, 31 meters, that is not an improvement. I believe 32 to 35 was the maximum I've been able to cast so far. Wow, we're reeling in really fast. Yeah, this new reel. Uh, it's really quick at retrieval. Uh, I think I might lose the event because I don't know if there are any bass. Poor strike. Hey, we finally got one, at least. It's a small one, but it will do. It will do. Uh, it's nice and beautiful color, too. It's green. Come on, come on. Nice. Uh, is it cloudy outside, or is it just... Uh... Is the sun just coming up? Look at that. You know, the fish look beautiful. Oh, uh, when he does hold it up. A spotted bass, 2.1 at 3 kg. Cool, cool, cool. All right, second cast of the day here. Oh, no, I forgot to look uh, up. How did the cloud... Uh, I think it is cloudy and the sun is just coming up. Let this bad boy sink down. Uh, there's no reason to put a clip because we want to cast as far as possible. Man, we reel in real fast. Wow, look at that bass. That was a fat one too. I might need to lower the speed of retrieval. Come on! Oh, that's a tiny little baby fish. Uh, but it will do. I think the reel is... It's working great, I I don't know. 
I don't know if it's taking me any longer to reel the fish in or if it's easier. Okay, another one. This one is smaller, sadly. Maybe 1 kg, I hope. At 1.64. Perfect. Great. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can get a big fat fish in our third cat. Oh, crap. 18 meters. All right, you know what? We've caught... Oh, look at that. That was just popping right there. We've caught fish before right beside our boat. Twice, I think. So, uh, let's see. Come on. Come on. We have a fluorocarbon line now. It should be a lot more appealing. Bazzy, bazzy. Where are you? No, even the splashing. It's like a wounded animal. It's it's perfect for predatory fish. No one, huh? Okay. Let's cast it once more. 16 minutes left to the competition. We have not done enough so far. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just popping right in front of you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes! Perfect strike. Alright, this is a big fish. Let's see how well he does. 30 meters, 29, 30. Okay, definitely a big fish. When he gets closer, that's when the issue starts. That's when the tension all of a sudden goes up. Let's bring it down to 28 here. Wow, okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, definitely a huge improvement, I feel. Here we go, wow. Bigger reel, a bigger line, and boom. How big is this guy? What? 2.47? Ah! <laughs> oh no, it felt really big. Alright, let's start again. 92 poor swint. 31, 32 meters is the max I can throw still. I think we will need... Oh man, that scared me. I was like, oh, he's coming, he's coming, boys. Uh, I think we'll, we will need a, a rod to cast further. I really thought with the reel it would have made it better. Let's decrease the retrieval. Maybe it's too slow for a retrieval? I, I really don't know. We're sinking. Yeah, let's increase it. We're strike, but it's okay. At least a small fit. <laughs> Look at the guy's head. <laughs> what is this guy doing? This thing is tiny. It's like 1 kg, not even maybe. 800 grams? Oh, what happened? Yes, we reached level 7. 1.35 kg. Spotted Baz. Very cool. Ninety-two percent again. Twelve minutes left, guys. Seven point five nine kg total catch. Blake here, second round place. Uh, four point three nine. So we just need to keep doing what we're doing here and catch these bass. Man, they're so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> such disappointment, dude. Another small one here. I really want to catch them in real life so bad now. It just looks so good. It's been such a long time. What are you doing, fish? You're done. Another 1 kg. 1.15. Okay, perfect. Man, we are killing it. 8.74 kg. Owen is now in second place with 5 kg. So, uh, we need to catch bigger... We do not need more smaller ones because it's uh, best of the what your biggest five. Oh, ah, yes. 
Yes. Finally. Finally, that is great. That's a big fat one. It is just maxing out our break here. So I'm not really playing with the rod too much. Yanking the rod too much because... Okay, 23 meters, 22, yes, yes. Oh yeah, this is going to put us in lead. Uh oh. Don't do it, fish. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, wow, whoa. Oh man, that's a fat boy too. Poor guy, we were smushing him against <laughs> the dock. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I mean, all the fish, I think, in these in this game look really beautiful. There we go. That is definitely going to put us in lead. Oh, wow. Look at that. That might be our biggest one yet. Yes, 4.34 kg. I'm so happy we got a new line and a rod. All right, we are comfortably in the lead here again. Uh, double once more. Even last round, we were double second place. So that is good. We are doing really well. Uh, it's definitely finicky. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, because even when you reduce the break, it's still over. And I just don't like that. Because uh, in bigger fights, like I can instantly just lose a fish. You know, at 22 break, I'll be reeling him in. For like 10 minutes and boom all of a sudden i don't know why he just turns around or something and it maxes out the break and it snaps the line and that's just no fun i don't know uh yeah just uncomfortable fishing uh when the fish is on not only that but like i scroll the wheel a lot and even then the break doesn't move too much So that's just I I wish they did a better job with that it doesn't feel great uh, I honestly looking at the fish and the guy holding the fish is the best part of the game oh small one there no not this guy either what kind of weird behavior is this is, does this happen in real life have you guys been to Bass Pro Shops? Is this even in Europe? Because I know we have them in North America. I've been to uh, a few. Uh, there's one I went to in the US. They have a huge, huge, huge aquarium. And they have gars there. They have really big fat, I think, catfish. And other big monstrous fish. And it's really cool. Uh, but if you are into hunting and fishing and stuff like that, I guess it's a good store for you. Although it seems like a a uh, brand name store, so you can probably find better deals elsewhere. But that's just my assumption. Let me know, let me know in the comments if you've ever been to one. Yes, I've never lost a fish even on poor strike. That's great. This is going to help uh, increase our total here. 0.99, this is tiny. All right. Ooh, 97. They are slowly catching up, guys. We might be in trouble. I've cast it two or three times and I've caught no fish at all. So we're, <laughs> we're going to have to... Uh, Step it up here somehow. I don't know how, but there's no point moving uh, spots because the spot is good as any, I feel. Yes, yes, that's a big fat one too. Please strike, please, please, please. No. Yes. That is a fat one too. Finally.
Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Four minutes left. We need to do this quick. See how quickly that resistance jumps up? It's just so stupid. I don't like it. You can easily lose a fish. But uh, I think we're going to easily win. It's going to take us maybe 30 seconds or less. So we have one more cast we can do after this fish. It is a strong fish nonetheless. Yes, there we go. Wow, look at that bad boy. How big is this guy? 4.68 KT. Oh, we are comfortably in the lead. 15. Double again. Alright, last cast. Last cast, and I say that because we are going to get another one. <laughs> if not, then we'll have another cast. Hopefully we can get another one. Oh, wow. Duh. Oh, another big one. Thirty-one meters. He's taking the line. Ah, we have two forty minutes to go. Two minutes forty-four seconds. Hopefully, I don't lose the fish. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Wow, they go turbo mode. Uh, he looks decent sized. Yeah, I just stop reeling it in once uh, the resistance goes up too high. Okay, even then it's uh, it doesn't work. There we go. Oof. Oh yeah, another three kg plus probably. Three point one seven. Perfect. We won this so easy. One minute left. Hopefully we can get a tiny one. Actually, no. A tiny one won't help us. Uh, Dylan, Dylan, and Rory. 7.88, 7.84. Those guys are neck and neck. Uh, we on the other hand are smooth sailing. We are the Baz pros. No, no fish? I really thought that guy was gonna follow us. I guess not. No? I really thought the splashing would really bring the fish to the yard. Alright, one at last one. Not too far. I think 80% is okay. Come on, come on. If you're gonna get a fish, hopefully it's the small one. At least I guess we can get some XP. Even though it's not gonna help uh, contribute to the competition, because we already have like, what, 1.2, 1.2. Four is their smallest of the five. All right. 15, 14, not even going to bother. You know what? No, let's let's throw it this way and see what it is underwater. How it looks like underwater. Maybe this might be a better place to cast. Oh, no, never mind. Too late. <laughs> All right, look at this. What does this mean? And what does this mean? Oh, these are our biggest two. And then what do these crowns mean? I have no idea. No idea what those mean. Maybe these are the biggest smallmouth and spotted bass I've caught so far. Maybe that's it. 
Uh, but wow, look at that. So many bass. We've got spotted bass and smallmouth. No big mouth bass here. Uh, but uh, 4.68 being the biggest. And we are victorious once again, doubling the second place. We are finally in the lead. 200 points versus 195. Uh, $5,000 here. 400 followers now. This is getting close to uh, what I have right now. Uh, 10,000 is our worth, but that is because we have our rod and reel. Uh, so that is great. Let's go back again. Customize equipment. What can we buy next? Uh, we have to... Oh, really? That's it? 2,200? We cannot buy a better one. Line? We cannot buy a better one either. We have a 16 kg side. 17 kg, sorry. 17 pound. That's not gonna work. You can buy this, but I really don't know, like, what's better. Uh, constant step and go. Number one crankbait when fish are holding at or on a shallow cover or feeding on shallow flats. What about the current one we have? I mean, how's that any different? Uh, presentation, retrieve constant and stop and go. A bioacoustics and laser imaging. That's not all the echo comes through cover like a square bill should and it excels at ripping a grass. Yeah, I don't know if these are going to be any better at bite rates. Because there's just no stats in the game. It's like, okay, well, what's, what's the point? So I'm going to have to like research what's a good one uh but i guess we're not going to be able to buy anything and uh i'm gonna leave it here for the episode guys i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below i will see you in the next one where we continue our career mode and uh, next stop is sun belt this is in johnson florida this legit i have never been to this part we've been to stony bay we've been to spring creek and that's basically all the lakes I've been to so far. And we sunset time, light clouds, and looks like bass again. It's going to be really cool, guys. Anyway, uh, I will see you next time. Until then, enjoy.